Behind the hustle and bustle of the great city of Kuala Lumpur, clustered with thousands of people constantly on the go, peace and tranquility is not a common sight. But who knew that in the heart of Bukit Bintang lie two rows of houses that embody both of these elements with ease? Conventional wisdom dictates that if a house is old, it isn't suitable to live in. Not according to the patriarch of this house, Mr. Lim In Chong, or more affectionately known as Inch Lim. Inch is a renowned Malaysian landscape designer who is one of the few individuals who believe in the beauty of conserving heritage. You know, what we did for fun was always related to the outside, and the outside is always covered in plants, you know. Uh, we'll be playing by in the stream, or we'll be catching fish, or spiders, or whatever, but, you know, you're always enveloped by this green world. And also, I think that it, through my life, you know, I'm a very old man now, I uh, learned a lot about plants because it was one of my interests. So, they all just came together, you know, life, does that to you. Just brings everything together and you, there you are. Come in. I've got my small garden. It's only 20 feet by 20 feet. But uh, I do all kinds of wonderful things. I have, a, I have a quite an unusual palm here from uh, East Malaysia. There's a, there's a Liquala matanensis. Uh, very, very hard to find. Or actually very expensive. I've got vanilla here. Okay, vanilla has very scented flowers, so I'm waiting for it to flower. I've got an orchid there. This is it. This is my water feature. I uh, tried to make it like, uh, see, as clear as an aquarium. It's very nice to walk over bridge over water. Mm, I always like this. I mean, this is a very quiet place, and yet it's just in the center of the city. I could walk across the road, and uh, I, I'm sure there are about 5,000 eating areas that I can go to. So can you imagine, you have got quite area, and also very important to me was that I have a very small garden in front. And you can see, it. it's a tiny little garden, but we managed to, you know, create, I think, a, an oasis in, in that tiny little garden. I've always been, I always like these old houses, particularly these old terrace houses. You know, living in the tropics, I think that there are two basic elements that you have to deal with, and actually three. First is, the, uh, the, the uh, radiant heat uh, from the sun. And the second thing is, you know, which is related to the first, which is sunlight. You want to have, to have the maximum of one and the minimum of the other. Then uh, what I did was I made sure that the airflow uh, is maximized. Uh, and uh, that the airflow is, you know, the whole mechanical system is minimized while uh, maximizing the airflow. So I did a very un-Chinese thing, which is like this window, for example, has a window right at the back of the house. And every door is openable right at the back of the house. And I created that window like a wind, wind scoop. As I've got these blades that are made of teak, where you know, plantation teak. So when you press a button, the blades open and allow light through. And if you need to sleep in, you press a button and then the blade closes. So I, 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 I struggled with that for a long time uh, as to how to produce the most efficient way of lying the maximum light uh, in by the minimum heat or you know be able to control the quality of light. For ceiling I realized that I could actually maximize by building into the ceiling space. Then we got this which allows light and air so you can step on it you can uh, air light can go in and air can come up. You know, having come from an industry which I hated, and then coming to an industry which I love, I think, uh, oh, amazing. Every day of my life, I think, oh, you know, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. <laughs> what actually was very nice was the awards that I got in Japan. I think going, going to a country like Japan, which is famous for gardening, you know, for centuries, they've produced the most beautiful gardens in the world and competing against all kinds of wonderful gardeners uh, and you know getting all those awards uh, I was quite happy with that I mean I don't say there's a proudest day of my life but it was it was a nice thing
As we have witnessed, Inches House is as magnificent a piece of historical architecture as it is a place for human dwelling. There is a certain old-world charm about the place that simply cannot be reproduced in any form of contemporary architecture. Regardless of whether it is the vintage wooden panels on his windows or the conservative oriental layout of the interior section, one thing is certain. There is something just magical about the place. A place that forms part of the world of yesterday.